good evening to you. Um, what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football? There is severely a cloud over the top of the world and it's by football. It's a great day to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. There are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a uh, 4-3-3. Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3. And the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not. And the wider attacking player is being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across the field, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier compact defensive So it's down to business here. Well, good evening wherever you are on this most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The road outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. to what is in effect a winter wonderland the uh, snow decorated perimeter of the pitch is perfect evidence of this and indeed evidence of the efforts that the ground staff have made to get all of the white stuff off the playing surface the forecasters do say that we will have snow throughout the game but we have been told absolutely categorically that things aren't expected to get any worse the atmosphere is terrific the turnout considering the weather is excellent and you do get the sense that a special event is ahead of us. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Bayang have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks. So 
they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. There's the whistle, and here we go. Go massively! Oh, well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it, it has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside, coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Derwood United have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So we're up and running. to you on what has been a really wintry evening all over the place. We've had snow particularly in this neck of the woods for most of the day and we have to be extremely grateful for the efforts of this evening's hosts in ensuring that our match here can go ahead as planned. There were reports earlier regarding potential difficulties reaching this venue and you can understand why. Let us hope that not too many have been held up and that the match can go ahead as planned. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. The information we've been given is that they're going to go with a 3-5-2. Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. 
if your centre backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre backs and wing backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred. We have a terrific turnout here. The atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions. All we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. Off we go then. Shoots! Hello and welcome to what announced to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much, and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can be compromised and you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. Better pass there. Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid. And the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too, and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. The Sukru Saracolu Stadium, one of the great symbols of football in Turkey. History says the first ever football pitch to be laid in this country.
Persevic have opted for a 3-5-2 here, Jim. Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. If your centre-backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing-backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre-backs and wing-backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. So we're up and running. Rickles, you meant should have. Gabos. Has a look and has a go. Make a scene to me. you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled an atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement it is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. Gets things running. That's a barrier. Goes looking. He's gone for it! Wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening, there has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled an atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement truly this is an impressive scene at the spanking new wanda metropolitano This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. So away we go then. Uta Fiatu takes it over to the other flank. Dimas! Treasure! Wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening, there has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a uh, torrent 
of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled an atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement so what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. Gets things running. Oh, real danger here. Goes for goal! Very well, welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. The instantly recognisable Signal Iduna Park, one of Europe's most unforgettable stadia. Persis have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. So it's down to business here. City Bay. That's no. Well, a very good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces, hoping it will all somehow stay away, but I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate.
put things on the way. Very well to intervene. Oh, I greet you wherever you are. Enjoy this on a day where the winner just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. The Estadio Daluth, it speaks for itself, a truly radiant, bright venue. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So away we go then. Right. He's gone for goal! And he's... Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Well, what I like about this system, Peter, is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem. If one opts to go forward, the other sits, and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack, the other will, will hold the central ground. Communication is obviously vital to make it a success, but this team knows what it's doing, and I think we're going to see that reflected. Conditions are utopian. The sky is blue, and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine, and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much, and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. The cop, such an impressive sight. One of the great new additions in this most historic of grounds. The information we've been given is that they're going to go with a 3-5-2. Well, the beauty of this system, Peter, is that you can offer both a back five and a front two. 
having sufficient strength at either end of the team where you need it. Equally, the wing-backs can supplement the numbers in midfield to make it a five, so I think it affords managers the ultimate flexibility, and I think if I were really pushed on what I'd like most, this would be the, uh, this would be the system. So it's away we go then. Chance to sh shoot a goal! Die. Lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the... Roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. It does seem to be a 4 3 3, Jim. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. So it's away we go then. And that's the end. But this is lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper, the traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup.